welcome to my floor. Mm. So for today's Vlogmas video, I thought it'd be super fun to show you guys what we are getting Asa for Christmas. Um, I'm embarrassed to say that it's more than I thought it was because I've just been sort of collecting it up like all summer and then just putting it in his closet. And this isn't even all of it. I've put some away because he's not quite old enough for it yet. Um, and it's way more than I thought it was. <laughs> My husband's gonna kill me. But anyway, I thought this might be helpful for mamas out there who have toddlers who might be searching for some ideas. Just a little blunt statement. Um, we're trying to do Montessori, not 100%, but just more open-ended toys, not a lot of blinky blinky, quacky quacky. <laughs> so a lot of like wooden open-ended stuff. Um, so that's pretty much what we got, but I did want to get him some fun stuff as well. We are also, um, in January, he will have his own play room. So we've got him some larger things that I won't have on camera, but I'm going to insert pictures of. Uh, that we picked up for him from Amazon and other places. Uh, so let's dive in because we've got quite a bit of things and I hope you guys enjoy this video and get some ideas. If you do, let me know down below and uh, let's get started. So the first thing we've been struggling with bath time um, because every toy we buy him that's rubber gets moldy on the inside and it's disgusting. Um, so he pretty much plays with these little buckets that are dishwasher safe. Uh, a little pour spout thing that we wash him with and then I found this at the store. I was pretty excited. It's by Green Toys, which is a brand I like. Um, they sell this at Target. Um, they have a bunch of stuff on Amazon. This is all recycled plastic, which is pretty cool. Um, it's a boat. You can fill it with water, it floats, and then it has a spout so you can pour. But what's really awesome is you can put it in the dishwasher. So it's dishwasher safe. Uh, so you can get disinfection in there and there will be no mold. Um, I got this one, I think, at Marshall's. Yeah, look at Marshall's for Green Toys because you can get them super cheap. This was $6.99, so I feel like that's a pretty good price for a giant little bath toy. Um, so I think he's really going to like this. Another thing we're setting up for him inside in his playroom is a little toy kitchen area. So I wanted to get some stuff for his little kitchen. My husband found this stainless steel set of pots and pans, which I know he's going to be super excited about because he steals mine. Um, so these are all his size, and he can play with them and bang them around. Um... I mean, he can't really like cook in them, but I think we could use these in the kitchen together and just put stuff in for him to pretend like he's cooking. So I'm pretty excited to give him this. To go along with his kitchen, I picked him up some wooden food, um, pantry items. This set is by Melissa and Doug. They have another one that I want to get that's different. Um, I got these most of these on Amazon, uh, but I just think they're super cute and I love the artwork. I love the little yogurt and the stick of butter. How freaking cute is that? Um, so that way he can just have some fake food to play with uh, in his kitchen. I showed this on Instagram, so you might have already seen this, but I picked this up actually on Thrive Market. Um, I had like a free trial with them and I got a discount on some stuff. So I think this was basically free for me, but I can't remember. I can't remember how much it was originally, um, but it's by Begin Again Toys. They do a lot of wooden ones. Um, they're super cute. I don't know if you can see on this picture, it's a tabletop bowling set. Uh, he loves knocking stuff over. So it's a, an elephant head and then you put the ball on the top and it rolls down and it knocks over the giraffes and the monkeys. Um, I don't think he's going to be able to hit these little tiny things, but I think he'll enjoy rolling the ball down and knocking stuff over. So I thought this was super cute. Um, we might put this on our kitchen table because he likes to get in his learning tower and play with toys up there. I think he'll love it. They put a big sticker on it, but <laughs> I got him this pop-up fire truck. Um, they have this in a bus and a fire truck. Um, but the bus was sold out, so fire truck it is. But these little people, you push them in and they pop out and then you put them back in and push them down and they pop out and you can push it out like a car as well. Um, so it's super cute and it's wooden and adorable and I think it'll give him a lot of sensory play and last him a very long time. Like I said, I will try and link all these down below from Amazon. It might take me longer than this evening. So if you don't see it right away, <laughs> give me give me some grace. Um, I am a mama with a toddler. Um, but I will try and get everything linked down below so you guys can go and find it if you want to. I wanted to get him some wooden blocks and they're kind of pricey, even the Melissa and Doug ones. Um, but I didn't want like a big batch of blocks yet because I don't feel like he's quite ready for like a hundred blocks. But on Amazon, I found this box of 24 two inch solid wood blocks. Um, so I feel like he can do a lot with these. They're sanded down really well, so I don't feel like he's going to get splinters or anything. I'm trying to see if I can get one out. So they're just little two inch blocks. Um, and as he gets older, I can add wooden blocks onto this 
um, of different shapes and stuff as he gets more advanced with his skills of building. Um, but I thought this was a great starter set. So 24 blocks that he can just set up and knock down. He's not quite ready for this, but his birthday isn't until August. So I wanted to get some stuff that was a little bit older than him, just so we have it ready to do in his toy rotation. Um, so I got this lacing apple. It's a wooden apple with a little plastic worm and you just lace it through the holes make little knots, practice sewing. Um, I just think it's super adorable. I got this one on Amazon as well. Super cute. I found this in the clearance at uh, Home Goods, and it's by Hape Toys, which is an excellent, usually kind of pricey wooden toy brand, but it's just a basic little wooden car. Um, you push it, it goes room. I mean, it doesn't save room, but you know, it goes really fast um, and it wobbles a little bit. Uh, so I don't know, I like the color scheme. It looks kind of vintage. I think he's super gonna dig this. He's very into trucks and cars right now. So I think he's gonna like that. So we were trying to do more cooking stuff in his learning tower while I'm cooking. So I found this super cute little kids cooking set and it has its own little rolling pin, um, a cake pan, and then a loaf pan. I might have more than that, is that it? No, I think it's just those three things, but I got it mostly for the rolling pin because he's gonna love, like if I'm making bread or something, if I just give him a little chunk of dough and just let him roll it out himself. Uh, but this is super cute. It was like six bucks at TJ Maxx. So I thought this was perfect for him. Also, we could put these in his play kitchen because he's not gonna actually be baking <laughs> with me. Um, but so we can use these in his play kitchen as well. So I just thought this was really cute and versatile. I could not decide whether I wanted to get him a big easel or something smaller. I decided to go smaller because he has a lot of big toys. Um, and I feel like an easel is kind of a space waster. Like they're not gonna do art for two hours a day, all day long. Um, he's not gonna wanna stand there. He's more likely to fling stuff or knock it over or climb it. Um, maybe when he's older, we'll get an easel, but I wanted something for crafts because uh, I really want him to start doing painting and coloring and getting messy and all that. So I found this super cute Melissa and Doug wooden tabletop um, paper roller. So you can buy refills for the paper, ro paper roller <laughs> and then this just sits on the table. So I could just store this with his crayons and stuff like that. And then when we want to do crafts, I can just put it on any table, any surface that I want and we are ready to art. So I think this is pretty cute um, and it's, you know, heavy duty. So I don't feel like he can like fling it around too much. Uh, so I thought this was a pretty good buy. I found this one actually at Target. They had buy one, get one half off Melissa and Doug toys. So this was one of the ones that I got. So to go in his little music area, he doesn't have a xylophone. <laughs> so again, this is Melissa and Doug. I think I got this one at the, no, did I get this at Target? I can't remember. I might have got this in the half off Target thing, um, but it's wooden and then this is metal and uh, here he has some little bangers. Where are the, oh, they're the, they're the little antlers. So you pull the stick out and that's the, the bangy thing. Um, he loves to hit stuff. So he already has a drum with some sticks and I think this will be a good addition to his little music center that I'm going to set up um, in his playroom. So I'm pretty excited about this. So I wanted to get him some imagination play stuff because we're starting to do like pretend like you're on the phone, like hello. So I wanted to do some more imagination play, cute stuff. So I got this wooden camera. This I did get on Amazon. They have them on Etsy, um, probably for twice as much as I paid. I think this was seven bucks. It might've been 10, but it's just a wooden play camera with a little strap so he can wear it if he wants to. Um, I don't think that he could play with this unsupervised because of the strap. And also I need to get in there. Um, it's got a little bit of like crunchy stuff and I know he's gonna stick his finger in that hole. Um, so I'm gonna get my husband to sand that down, but I just thought this was so adorable. Uh, and we can just set it on his dresser or in his playroom, wherever he is. Super cute. Also for a dress up, we got him uh, some dress up hats. Um, Cause I wanna make some dress up clothes stuff for him, but we got him fire hats and then a NASA space hat cause he loves hats. So I can't wait for him to get So I got him a couple of puzzles. He really is starting to get into puzzles and I think they're super adorable. Um, most of them are Melissa and Doug. I just love their, their price point is just, if you're trying to do Montessori stuff, Melissa and Doug is like the way to go. If you're on a budget, um, a lot of the wooden toys are super expensive and we just don't have that kind of budget. So found this super cute farm animal, big chunky pegboard um, puzzle. I think he'll like it because he likes animals um, and it's good for little hands. So I think this is a good like intro one. He has one similar to this. Um, I got this on clearance at TJ Maxx for six bucks. So 
This is another thing I got at the Target, buy one, get one half off. Um, but I got a soundboard one. This one's a little bit smaller, but I think because of the noises, he'll be very enticed to put these in. But they have little pegs, so they're easy to pick up. And then, of course, they do the animal sounds. Um, I got the farm one because we're all about that farm life. <laughs> this one is a little bit advanced for him. I'm not sure he'll be quite ready for it right now, but I think he'll mess around with it. But this one has different locks. It comes with a set of keys, which he's not going to be able to play with. Um, and just like you can slide, but he could do this one where you slide the door open and then I can unlock the car. Um, so I just thought this was a really good multifunctional puzzle. <laughs> and again, probably not quite ready for this one, but I think in like two or three months he will be somewhere in between now and his next birthday. So and the last puzzle I got him is his name. His name is so small. <laughs> when I saw this on Etsy, um, they have like the big long names. Uh, and the puzzle looks like really exciting because it's so many letters and then his is just two letters, two of the same letter three times. So um, it's smaller, <laughs> but he will be able to master it quicker. So it's just a name puzzle for him. Again, I had them put the pegs in. Cute. This is like his fun toy. I felt like he needed something that wasn't just educational, but was kind of fun. Um, so again, this is by uh, Green Toys. I really like them a lot. I got this on Amazon, but it is a farm how a farm barn barn <laughs> but it comes with a tractor and here I'll show it so it comes with the farmhouse and then a tractor and some little animals and like a little farmer I don't think it comes with the gates I'm pretty sure it doesn't um or maybe it does 12 pieces I don't know but I just thought this would be a good introduction to like little people play um also it's something that when I start giving him wooden um people to play with who have like a house to put them in uh and it's just super super cute and it's really durable like um there was another brand Batat I think is the name that had a really nice farmhouse it was way cheaper than this one and it was way bigger but it felt flimsier when I played with one <laughs> but this one feels really sturdy so I don't think he's gonna like bust it up um so I'm really excited for him to play with this one so this is a big toy from us <laughs> I got him a little rug that has the car track on it or something like that and it comes with some wooden cars this is also by melissa and doug um i think this will be great for his playroom because we were thinking about getting him a train track but that takes up a lot of space and we're not really sure how much he's going to play with it yet um so we thought this was a good mid mid road entry to this also it'll be a rug that he can kind of play on um it's pretty big i can't remember the size it's 39 by 36 inches so i feel like it's big enough for him to sit on and play and uh, yeah, I feel like this is a good in between and then maybe he can get a train table for his birthday. So we'll see. I of course had to get him some books. <laughs> um, I've decided that on Christmas Eve every year, we're going to get some Christmas books to read, a pair of pajamas and a snacky treat and a movie to watch. Um, so he has something to open on Christmas Eve. So I've already got him a pair of pajamas, but I got him two Christmas books for Christmas Eve. I got the Merry Christmas Little Pookie. I love Sandra Boyton. I think that's how you say her last name, but her books are very, very funny and they're super cute and Asa likes them. Um, so it's just all about Christmas and Christmas cookies and like the things you do on Christmas. Um, and then I got a um, big blue truck, but it's about diggers. So like a car Christmas one. Cause again, he's very into like trucks and cars and things that go. Uh, so I think he'll really enjoy. So this one has more words than he usually likes. But I figure on Christmas Eve, he might be tired enough to listen to it. <laughs> um, so I'm probably going to do these and then like some kind of granola bar and then his PJs. And we're going to watch a Christmas movie. So, yeah. And just for funsy books, I got this thing. Um, this thing. It's called Things That Go. And it's like spaceships and cars and boats and trucks. And then just cute stuff that, that goes. Um, again, I got this at TJ Maxx. I really love TJ Maxx and Marshalls for kids books because they're still, I feel like they're kind of pricey. Like they're between three and five dollars each, but they're way cheaper than if you buy them in store when they're eight to 10. So I got this one. I'm very, very into these felt flip books. He loves these. He loves to flip and open stuff, but the paper ones he chews on and rips. Um, so these are super cute because they're felt. I don't like to touch them. But, um, but you can reveal what's behind it. And then the last page is always a mirror. <laughs> so you can look at yourself. Um, so he has a couple of other of the same book, but different themes. And this one's all um, forest creatures. So I just thought it was really cute. And I love owls. So he got this one. I got him The Very Hungry Caterpillar because I feel like every kid should have that book. 
he has a couple of these books already. He has like one that's cars. He has one that's um, like safari animal sounds. So I got him a farm animal sounds, but it's a book that gives you a little bit of information and then you has something you can touch. So like you can feel it furry or whatever. <laughs> it makes the noise. He loves these books. Um, the only complaint I have is that some of them, I haven't tried this one out, but some of them are really hard to push for his little tiny finger. So you have to do it. But he brings me these books all day long, wants me to read it and then push the center. So he loves these. So this I didn't buy. This is from my brother to him, but we're not going to see my brother on Christmas. So he had it shipped here, but we got him a hape or he got him a hape scooter. Uh, this is all wood. Super cute. I love that it's green. Um, it's just a little toddler scooter. He loves to push and ride on things and we got him a push bus that's like for putting stuff in like almost like a um almost like a wagon but he tries to get in it and like push himself but he's too big so I thought this would be super perfect uh dad's got to put it together and we're just gonna have it sitting out under the tree um already assembled for him to play with on Christmas morning so I think he's really gonna like that so I'll insert a picture But my, I made a wish list on Amazon for our family because again, we're trying to be kind of specific with the types of toys that we want. Um, so my mom is getting him uh, a Melissa and Doug cleaning set where it has a stand and it comes with its own broom and mop and bucket and like little sweepers so that he can help me clean. Uh, that's part of Montessori is, you know, them learning to do stuff themselves. <laughs> and um, he's always trying to help me sweep help me sweep. So I think him having his own broom and own mop and stuff like that will really help him kind of get involved in the kitchen. He already helps me unload the dishwasher. So I feel like this will be a, a cute thing for him to have. Um, and then the last thing that we got him, it's his biggest item. We got him a Fisher Price big plastic climber slide. So like you climb up in it. I'll try and insert a picture right here. Um, but you climb up in the top and then you slide down the slide and then on the side of it it has like a thing where you can drop balls and they spin down. Uh, I think this is perfect for indoor play for winter so we're going to put that in his playroom. Um, and then as it gets warmer we can move it to the porch. Again uh, it might eventually end up in the front yard like a lot of the Fisher Price plastic things do uh, but for right now it's going to be indoor because he has nothing in our house where he can climb. We don't have stairs. We have a one floor house. Well I mean we have a basement but like he doesn't play down there. Um, so there's nowhere for him to climb and slide and get that sort of uh, sensory part of play. So I'm really excited to give him that. Um, I think he's going to poop his panties when he sees it. And I'm so excited. He's going to like love it. And another thing <laughs> that my mom got him is um, a wagon for our front yard. Because he, again, he loves to push and pull. So she got him a radio flyer, I think, wagon uh, for him to play with you know, outside or on the porch or in the garden. I think that'll be super cute this spring when we are doing a lot of gardening and he can bring his own little um, wagon into the garden and help us out and pick stuff. So I'm really excited about that too. So that's all the stuff that my little man is getting for Christmas. Um, I think I might've gone a little overboard, but I feel like it was worth it. It's his first one that he gets to participate in and I'm so excited. I did get him a couple of little things for his stocking because I feel like the stocking is always like the cherry on the top of your ice cream sundae. Christmas morning for me. <laughs> um, so I just got him some little like plastic push cars that don't make any noise. They just push. And then I did get him uh, a couple pieces of chocolate and then I'm going to put some fruit in there and probably a new tooth toothbrush and some socks like, you know, stuff he doesn't care about. But <laughs> so I am going to do a little stocking for him. Uh, I'm just super excited y'all. I've always wanted to have a baby and I've always wanted to celebrate Christmas with him. Um, and I'm just, I'm just like super, I'm just like overcome with like squishiness about it. And he's probably going to only want the wrapping paper and that's fine. <laughs> so I hope you guys got some great ideas from this video. Um, my kid is, might be spoiled or a little bit rotten, but he is an only child. So, and it is his first Christmas. So I'm trying to like rationalize it to myself. But anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a Merry Christmas with your littles and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.